Finance is one of the four business sub-teams. The four business sub-teams, if you are unaware, are finance, product management, strategy, and step. Step is just one of the things that manages all of our safety and training. So what we do as a finance team is we manage all of the fundraising activities, we organize our team budget, we write grants for different uh, sponsorships and applications that we want to get, uh, and we manage our buy list. The buy list, uh, if it isn't clear, is just the list that we make. It's a spreadsheet filled with all the numbers and all the items that we need for the team to function. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so the second thing I should go over is what you are going to learn if you join the finance sub team. So, some of the things you're going to know are how to talk and interact with businesses in a formal setting. So I'm going to be organizing teams of two. This will be mandatory fundraising. Sorry, you guys. Um, I'm gonna be organizing people into teams of two, and you guys are gonna be going out into the community and fundraising from businesses. So just local businesses in Woodbury, in Newport, in Cottage Grove, and St. Paul Park. So that is one of the things that you're gonna learn, and you're also gonna learn how to analyze and create a corporation's budget. So again, like I said, as a finance team, we make our entire budget for the entire team. So you guys would be helping break down both the business team, the build team, and the impact team's budget for the entire year. Um, and then the final thing that I would say you're gonna learn is how to market a product. Uh, the product in specific is going to be the team and why people should sponsor us. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be looking at some of the highlights of our sponsorship packet, which are going to be put into these five steps that I've made on how to market the errors. And like I just said, we're gonna be going out into the community in December and we are gonna be doing this to gain funding from different local businesses. So the five steps to marketing the errors is, one, let them know who the errors are. So just establish that relationship with whoever you're asking money from whether that's a business, whether that's uh, any family or a restaurant or any type of corporation, make sure that they know who they're giving to. Second is to tell them about our impact. Um, so everything that we do for the community, to let them know that not only are they donating to a high school robotics team, but also our 11 FLL teams. And they're donating to Upkeep Our Shop, which not only houses us, but also MSA's robotics team. So that's one of the biggest things to keep in mind to show that not only are we just one robotics team, we're also so many different other teams that affect so many more people than just all the people in this room and that classroom. And then the third step would be to explain what FIRST is. So for a lot of people uh, on the robotics team in specific, they know what FIRST is, and I'll have a slide later which explains for all of the rookies here, so if you guys don't know what that is, that's okay. Um, but yeah, so explaining what FIRST is helps a lot for a business just so they know the background of the organization that they're donating to. The fourth step is to tell them why we need money. So that would be a really small and simple breakdown of how we spend our money. Just like, oh, it takes X amount of money to run our team for a year, and we would tell them why we need this and why we don't have the money and why it is so important for them to give us money. And the fifth step is to elaborate on how they can help. Because a lot of the time we overlook certain businesses just because they aren't STEM based, even though there are so many other ways that companies can help us outside of just money or tools or things like that. We can also ask for other business services, so that's one of the really important things when it comes to finance. So the first step um, on the screen that I made up for who are the heirs? We are the FRC Team 3130, or the <coughs> Robotics Ominous Raptors. Uh, we were the first team to win a state championship for Easter High School. Pretty proud of that. Uh, we have been to Worlds for Robotics five times, which is really impressive, uh, especially after, after having been around for only 14 years. Um, and then what we've done for the community. So not only do we have over 70 members on this team alone, we help encourage all of our students to go into STEM fields, and we can prove that and show that with all of our alumni, the majority of them grad, uh, graduating and gravitating towards other STEM fields, whether that be engineering 
or sciences or just various fields like that. Um, and then another thing we do is we share our shop with MSA, which is a really big thing because a lot of the time schools that don't have the funds to make the beautiful shop that we know and love, um, they get looked over and they're unable to pursue opportunities like this just because they can't afford to have a shop like us. And so I think it's really important to talk about and elaborate on how not only do we use our shop to support us and so many other people, but also another whole team from a different, almost rival school, because we still compete with them, but at the same time, we're sharing our shop with them. And so I think that's really important to emphasize just to show how compassionate we are as a team. Um, and then my third point is we have started 11 FLL teams, uh, which are STEM programs for kids from grades four to uh, eighth grade. Uh, so yeah, I think that's another point that we really need to stress when we talk to businesses, simply because when we are talking uh, about our team, we need to emphasize that not only is it us 70 kids on this robotics team, it's also the 30 kids on MSA, it's also the like 100 or so kids in FLL. And I think that's really important so that they know that not only are they supporting 70 kids on the Eastridge robotics team, they're supporting 200 kids that is part of our and so then the third step, what is FIRST? So FIRST is an organization, and the acronym stands for Re Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. And so this is a really big part of who we are as the heirs. Because without FIRST, none of these programs would exist. We wouldn't have FIRST Robotics, we wouldn't have these high school programs, we wouldn't have our middle school programs, and we wouldn't have our elementary school programs. And so I think that's something that we really need to emphasize when we're talking to businesses, to let them know that we are a part of something bigger and that they are the reason we got here in the first place. Um, and then my second point is that just explaining what FIRST does, explaining how they have pioneered so many STEM programs for kids from kindergarten all the way to 12th grade is really integral into how we represent our image as the heirs and how we market ourselves as a sponsor sponsorable good. Um, and so then my third point is just talking about how many teams that they've made in high school alone, which is over 9,000 teams that we currently have uh, a part of the FRC organization. And then the fourth point is just explaining truly how large FIRST is, showing that they affect almost 200,000 kids, which is really impressive, especially on a global scale, because if you go to Worlds, you'll see teams from California, Houston, the Midwest, Canada, Israel, uh, parts of Asia, Europe, and that is just insane to me personally, because I think it's really unique how we can kind of find a almost sport or an activity where we see people coming from all over the world at a high school level. And so then the fourth, uh, fourth step in how we market the errors is why do we need help? So I think the first step to talk about is talk about how much we spend in a year. So our yearly budget for a FIRST Robotics team goes around $35,000. And to run all of our FLL teams combined, it takes around $11,000 or $12,000. And even though we do receive some slight funding from the school, it is not enough to obviously support our team. So that is why we emphasize how important it is to go out into the community and to fundraise. So our goal for fundraising this year is $20,000. And personally, I think that's a very real goal just because we're gonna be going out to over 300 businesses over the four cities that feed into East Ridge High School. And so I think that um, we're gonna be successful in that. And obviously, since we're gonna be sending out so many groups of people, to target so many businesses, I think that this is something that we can definitely accomplish. And so then, this is the fifth step in how to market the errors, which talks about how different corporations can help. And so, like I said earlier, a lot of companies get overlooked when we go out for sponsorships. We typically only apply to STEM companies, but even then, there are so many other companies that have so many business services that could be helpful to us. Um, so one of the things is that we can go to different uh, postaging companies like FedEx or UPS, 
or staples and things like that just for like printing out because we do print a lot of papers. If you guys have seen all of the billion posters around the school, that was not cheap to print. Um, but yeah, so those are the kind of things that we can help. Those are business services. Um, in build season, we have a bunch of food that we have out for all of the kids to eat for dinner um, every day of the week. So that would be something that we could go to different businesses for. We could go to restaurants and ask them to cater for a day, two, a week, however much they're willing to offer. Um, and then obviously there are some of the more obvious things like building materials and tools and equipment. Uh, but I think that for the most part, a lot of people overlook what they can do for fundraising and they kind of limit themselves into a certain genre that their activity is based on. Another thing is we can always result to going door to door because a lot of the time people are a lot more forthcoming with sponsoring a robotics program because STEM is something that needs to be brought to more of the community every day. And so yeah, um, since that was a pretty quick lesson. Uh, we didn't have time to compound both of our lessons into one because our second lesson is going to be a lot longer. Uh, that's going to be going over how to talk to businesses. So when you're in a real life situation, we're going to be demonstrating how we're going to interact with our businesses and how we're going to present our ideas. And then two, we're going to talk about what you need to know in order to answer different questions. So this slide is just an overview about what is business. So the first step, obviously, I just explained all the finance. And then project management is another part of business. Georgia is our project management lead. And what project management does is they manage all of our deadlines and all of our schedules for all of build season. They do it for build, business, and impact. So they make sure that everything that needs to get done gets done, and that if anyone is behind or ahead, we can reallocate our resources in order to effectively achieve our goals. And so then the third business sub-team is STEP, which stands for Safety, Training, Equipment, and PIT. And they manage all the safety aspects of our shop, as well as all of the training and organization of our PIT for competition. So uh, for the rookies in the room, our pit is basically a 10 by 10 portion of wherever we're competing, where we would keep the robot in order to repair it, and just so people and members of the team can like stay so that they're not just standing in the middle of the field. Uh, so yeah, that is what our pit is. So I'll be going over more of what competition is in this next point. Uh, strategy is the fourth business sub-team, and what they do is they manage all of the green strategy, similar to like how plays in football work and plays in any other sport work. Uh, they manage all of our game strategy for all of our competitions, and they are the way that our team succeeds, because <coughs> our robot will never be perfect. We can never reach a level of full perfection on the robot, and so one of the biggest ways that we overcome all of our weaknesses and such is by utilizing strategy. Um, yeah, that went a lot quicker than intended, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, we have 20 minutes left. Do you guys have any questions? Okay. Uh, do you guys have any of the sub-teams that you guys are interested in? I'll take it. Okay. That was <laughs> <laughs> Just for those of you who know. Oh, Zach. Wow, thank you.